If you study the Bible in Mark 14, verse 56 to 57, you'll see that men rose up to bear false witness against the Christ. And so, it's important and imperative for everyone who by any means have encountered God to rise up to the task and the responsibility of witnessing. And so Jesus, when he was about to leave this world, in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he said, not many days from now, you shall receive the Holy Ghost and power, and you shall be witnesses unto me. Why is that so? Because this is what the Father was doing from the foundation of the world. Why is that so? This is what nature is designed to do. Why is that so? If you don't do it, men will rise up to try to discredit the name of the Lord and to rob humankind of the heritage of God that belongs to them. And so because these three are a must and, must and will happen, you have to rise up to the occasion. Because on one side, it's an honor that is bequeathed you, and on another side, it's a responsibility you have unto your maker to defend his essence and what he represents. So he said, you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in the uttermost part of the world. In 1 John chapter 1 from verse 1, John was speaking. And he said, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of truth. He said, that is what we have communicated to you. Why? He said that you too may have fellowship with the Father. Our word will be lost except as witnesses rise. If there are no witnesses today, the word will fall apart. Things will fall apart. You are here today because somebody ministered to you. You are here today because somebody witnessed to you. You are not here because you are wise. If somebody didn't witness to you, this evening is a good time to sit somewhere with a very chilled bottle of alcohol. My God, you need to go around Abuja and see what persons are doing. They remove the star lager beer and usually if it is so chill, you bring it out, then it starts sweating. They will hold it and gulp the whole thing. You hear, ah, they come alive. When you look at those people, you think you are better than them. You think you are wise. <laughs> you are not wiser. It's because somebody opened your eyes. Last week, somebody invited me to a place with my wife. He said he wants to propose to his damsel. And because we are like family friends, we live in the same estate. Most of the things I do, he, he does them for me. I said, of course, I'm, I'm free this weekend. Let's look around Abuja. Where is the place? He said, he called a strange name. I had to check it on Google. And we came there around 7.30 p.m. The place was white. They used some woo, woo technology. It was like woo. They padded it up. And so the, the ray of light hit on it and it's like a heaven. And when we sat down, I told my wife, wow, this is excellent. Because I love excellence. After a while, we started hearing some music. We started... <laughs> the music was coming like spears and daggers. I said, where are we? Why... <laughs> While we're trying to, you know, there's a coating system that animals have. When you see a goat in a cold weather, the goat will make all the hair to stand so that there will be no paw. As it blocks every paw, cold can't enter. So while I was trying to incubate myself from sound, <laughs> I turned to the left and we saw 14 daughters of Jezebel. They walked into the, the environment. All of them were wearing white. The ones that wore long gown, they tore it to this point. And then some, what they called gown, is shorter than a pant. The gown was here. And then, the way they sewed the clothes, is like her tie. You use your hair tie to wrap yourself. <laughs> the whole armpit was out. The whole chest. I turned my chair and faced this side. <laughs> Where are we? Which, I now told them to, and God was faithful. Somebody sent me a message that there's an emergency. I said, please see my phone. I need to pray for somebody now. 
I went and locked myself in the car. I was there till he came. I said, sir, since I've come, please go and propose. As he proposed, they said they are bringing food. I said, meet me outside. I went outside. They brought food to me in the car. Where is this? It's a sign that the ranks of witnesses are depleted. And if witnesses don't rise, what you see in a club can become the reality of a city. Because there was once a city called Sodom and Gomorrah. And in Sodom and Gomorrah, what you see in a brothel was natural. That was what happened. You had rape, you had violence, you have homosexuality. It was a national issue. The whole city, that's what they practiced. Because there are no witnesses. And the only witness that entered there, the weight of iniquity was too heavy. The Bible said daily his righteous soul was vexed. And so it's important for witnesses to be born incubated in the fires of the spirit. So they come out with weapons that are immortal. When they begin to alter the oracles of God, then the texture, the spiritual topography can be altered. And then the, the, the virus of heavens can open so that the glory can ventilate the territory. This is why it's important to have witnesses. If you were blessed by this message you just listened to and you wish to make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior, kindly repeat the prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and that he died for my sins and was raised from the dead for my justification. I therefore confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said this prayers, please send us an email at info at encounterjesusministry.org or info.ejmi.ng at gmail.com. You can also visit our website at www.encounterjesusministry.org.